Uh, good afternoon to everyone uh, present here. Uh, people who will be watching this interview later on when it's uploaded on all our channels. Uh, this is Shubham Jindal, a uh, very integral part of Ideas Unlimited Sports Management Group. And uh, today we are doing a very special interview with our vision, with our dream of ensuring India reaches the uh, World Cup of 2030. It's called the Mission 2030 for everyone who has seen all our projects, all our tablo tabloids, all our posts that have come out in the past. For this, what we have done is we have come up with a uh, short interview series where we'll be interviewing people very integral to our dream. You know, people who will actually help us reach to the dream of, you know, where we want to be. See India in the World Cup like we have seen the likes of Saudi Arabia and Morocco and South Korea and Japan. So uh, we have a very special guest today to start the entire series with. Uh, a lot of, of you people, a lot of football coaches who will be seeing this video, a lot of football fanatics, especially Indian football fanatics, would be knowing of this gentleman. Uh, his name is uh, Mr. Shyam Malik Lod. He is the ex-head coach of the Sports Authority of India, which is a regulatory sports body of the government of India. Apart from this, he has done a course on NIS and also Masters of Sports in Coaching. Apart from that, uh, very importantly for us, because we want to get into you know, the Asian Cup and do well there. He's also an AFC A licensed coach. And currently he's flying his trade with a very promising club uh, with an academy called the Zing Football Academy as the head of youth development. Because ultimately that is where we are struggling. And we feel where, you know, the youth is not getting the opportunities to actually excel. And that is where, you know, we'll be basically, uh, you know, questioning sir about a few things and taking his opinion and, you know, basically uh, forming our projects based on that. So, uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, great to have you here. Good afternoon, Shivam. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you for inviting me. And especially a lot of thanks as because you people have taken a challenge. 2030 mission, World Cup. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. I am very much excited about this project. Uh, really, it's a dream for everyone of, of every Indian, Indians that why not we are being a 1.3 million uh, people are the locality, but we don't have the a football team. Exactly. So everybody in this, but it is a, every time when the World Cup comes, so this question comes to the people's mind. After yes, that, everybody goes to the long sleeves. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah. So, but you have uh, took this project as a challenge. So yeah, I appreciate for that, but it is a need, not the only the few organizations or few people's it is need the our highest apex body of Indian Football Association, All India Football Federation. They has to take the challenges. Then only it will be possible. Otherwise, it will be it will be dream like with the dream. Exactly, sir. So a uh, very good start to the session, sir, with your inputs. So I'll just throw you a direct question. You know, like a rapid fire sort of a question, and then you can give your opinion. That, sir, very simply, what is your take on India making it to the World Cup 2030, sir? What's your op straight opinion on that? And that is something the entire viewers would like to know. But uh, yes, yeah. If you say under 2030, then I would say it is uh, impossible. But it's uh, possible. Obviously, it's uh, possible. First, we have to the uh, think uh, what way we can achieve because we are nowhere in Asia. Even even uh, no, on forget about the FIFA ranking. So first of all, we have to decide that why are we are lacking and how we can achieve it. First of all, yes. our target not the World Cup. First of all, we must to be the achieved our Asia top 10. Then only the we have a achieved something. Otherwise, we are at present, we have the 15, 16 standard is there in the AFC and the 106 is the AIF rank, all India FIFA ranking. So yes, it's very difficult for us. No doubt, difficult can be the minimized if the highest apex body of the, our football federation, all India football federation took the challenges proper is a planning with a good planning long term planning it yes, may more not possible 2030 but i i hope it will be possible if the challenge is taken today from itself then the 30 34 or 38 we may achieve this our goal okay sir so that would have been my uh, follow up question as well you mentioned a very uh, key point about the all india football federation and all the all the other state uh, football associations contributing massively and also the government of course because without the government we won't be able to do it you know that is what we have seen with the likes of qatar where the government basically organized the tournament you know they were the proxy you know organizers of the tournament so so that's a very key point you have mentioned and we have seen you know we have the only way currently we see that 
to host the world cup we need to host it like we have hosted the under 17 back in 2017 the women's world cup the asian cup was probably a possibility for us but we have given it to saudi arabia so sir our, my question to would you, you mention about 2034 and 2038 being possible so if that is what you think you know as a very distinguished uh, indian uh, coach you know one of the most distinguished coaches we have in the sphere of football here so what would be your road map be if you were to head this project you know in the coaching technical part of it what would be your road map to get us into the world cup of either 24 uh, 34 or 38 right right sir so exactly exactly so what to do as as by my opinion is that that india should take challenge from today itself yes, and sir. that planning should be for the by 2030 to at least reach the asia top 10 because mm-hmm. next time world cup is uh, will be the with 48 teams so yes, there will be a lot of scope now the quota of the asian quota is only four it may be increased of eight so if we reach by 2030 at least the asia ranking is the 10 then there is a little hope that the next world cup we may achieve there our goal so that's why you need to be a long term planning and ai web should take with the all state bodies football associations then the that mission can be possible with a starting with the 10 to 14 years of age group and after the 12 of years means 20 30 is 8 years now 34 then the 12 years then the boys will be the 24 or 28 so they can be that time achieve this goal but yes, before that we has to be the long journey coaches has to be developed lot of a group of individual coaches qualities they are in india but they are not properly guided so all india football federation should take the initiative to grooming the coaches a branch of coaches lot of talented coaches are indian coaches are there but they are not getting chance or they are not properly utilized so my humble request to the all india football federation they should be the take a challenge like you people organizing other 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 organization or general people are thinking to develop the indian football development so aif should be took the initiative otherwise it will be remain like this and yes, whenever the a group of people like now they started all india football federation under 17 world cup because next time we are already qualified for afc under 17 so yes, they started sir. the youth league under 17 and throughout india now there is a 50 team are participating in different areas as we are also participating at present in goa with a bangalore fc goa fc rifc chachil brothers and jin football academy so similarly here is the five teams are playing in this goa other nine groups are also different part of the country is going on similarly this type of league will be the very very beneficial to develop the year team but it should be started from the 14 to 15 age group then will be we can achieve otherwise our foundation is very poor whatever we are finding in the under 17 age group the people that requirement of the development of the player that not that not at much as quality is the founding there there is a lot of basic football is a requirement but that is not properly developed so okay. it is need a foundation strong foundation then only you can erect the uh, good teams so it should be started from 12 to 14 years of age group presently and it will be throughout india spread out not only the one or two places one or two academy will be the possible my request it in minimum it should be the four five zone and different four five zone different four five academy should be established and under the under the highly educated coaches or whatever the foreign ex- extraordinary coaches they have guided the group of people those who will be the assigned with the coaching job and they has to be the distributed properly properly planning and proper monitoring also is required some what happened in india we started everything is very nicely but the, the day goes on then the our ultimately the everything is uh, deteriorating and ultimately i find so many coaching center so many academy is a closed letter part because yes. we can't have a proper planning and proper foresight not having there so that's yes. why if it is we started properly it need to be a good identification of the, the different area proper scouting is required and proper coach should be utilized because coach is the backbone of this if coaches are not properly utilized coaches are not properly educated coaches are not properly given the facilities then nothing will be achieved so 
apex body should be the take all initiatives and it should be the proper planning i hope obviously we can achieve this goal yes sir sir i think what correctly aap bole sir i think coaches training that's also a very important vertical where you know that because ultimately agar coaching sahi hoga and niche jayega grassroots tak that is where we can achieve and one very good example of you know us feeling would be the under 17 world cup jo itne bright stars nikle the and abhi pata bhi nahi un log kahan par hai jabki aapke england ke under 17 jo world cup jeeti thi unke players ko dekh lijiye phil foden aur baki log hai un log world cup mein khel rahe hai आपके अर्जेंटीना के प्लेयर्स जो वर्ल्ड कप जीत चुके हैं अभी अंडर 17 टीम्स में से आके सो वी कैन पॉसिबली यू नो टेक इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम दैट आई एम आई एम गिविंग आई एम गिविंग अ रेफरेंस इन 2020 देयर वाज द कंपटीशन दैट वी हैव प्लेड इन द कंपटीशंस व्हेयर द वी बीट अर्जेंटीना एंड इन दैट टीम टू प्लेयर हुएवर दिस टाइम इज द विन द सिल्वर बॉल ही वाज इन दैट टीम नाउ ही इज द विनर ऑफ द सिल्वर बॉल इन द वर्ल्ड कप फीफा वर्ल्ड कप फाइनल या या so that boy was in that team and that team we have already beaten in yes, the 20, 2020 so this is not a possible if we do proper work proper planning in long term what happened whatever we started we cannot follow up when the bunch of the young people players are we are grooming but after that where they are going we are not bother about it absolutely maybe the, they are spared properly but there is no follow up program is continued that's Very why good. our talented are the all are the misused if yes. it is a proper planning the proper look after their health their future obviously we can achieve our goal bilkul sir i think thank you for input sir very very crucial points ekdam short mein aapne bahut acha acha keywords de diya coaches training youth development niche se start karna you know ensuring that jo youngsters are unko gayab nahi ho jaye you know that's a very key important point and in general what we have learned about this is the mission 2030 which we at ideas limited sports management group have taken up very important thing to mention ye hum log se khali nahi hoga i mean we have a population of 1.4 billion by in the next few years will be overtaking china as the most populated country in the world as a huge thing we are the largest democracy in the world what is important is the government the federations the people the sports fanatics se leke hum log se leke coaches aap log sabko milke sports management organizations also apart from you ideas all, all the organizations should come together, together and you know push this Yes, all sir, should absolutely. be one platform then only please it is not a possible by any single federation or nothing federation also cannot do if the state has decision not something so yes, sir. state federation having this tool be everybody should the catch them young so we should be the scouted in the early age and there should be properly nourished to and food we are having lacking the our the football playing fraternity coming the very poor families and like this, this but they should be properly scouted and proper good nutrition food has yes. to be given so that they are proper build up we can then only we can fight otherwise yes. training is not a, a sufficient proper food proper nutrition proper environment has to be the given and their future also we should intact we should think in such a way so that the player can give their best to achieve this goal yes sir as uh, as part of our mission 2030 hum log ne ensure kiya hai ki hum log khali training and ye sab pe focus nahi karke hum log sports science ko bhi leke aane wale hai aap to hoy ek expert usme and hum log abhi interns bhi hire kar rahe hai volunteers lene wale hai national volunteers program hoga hum log ka award shows hoga press conference hoga so that stakeholders bhi sare involved ho jaye aur hum log ke har vertical se hum log push kare jaise aap nutrition mention kiye very very crucial aspect because chahe kitna bhi acha football player ho agar usme stamina hi nahi hai usme wo जील ही नहीं है कि वो खेल पाए ट्रेनिंग कर पाए रेगुलरली तो फिर क्या फायदा हुआ वो तो एक साल चमकेगा फिर गायब हो जाएगा विच इज विच इज हैपनिंग विद मोस्ट आवर यंग टीम्स तो दैट्स अ वेरी वेरी क्रूशल पॉइंट यू हैव मेंशन एज वेल सर सो सर दिस वाज अ ग्रेट सेशन वी गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ इनपुट्स फ्रॉम यू ऑफकोर्स सर आप हम लोग के साथ जुड़े हुए रहेंगे आपके थ्रू और लोग भी आएंगे जो हम लोग के साथ जुड़े रहेंगे सर दिस वॉज अ ग्रेट सेशन सो दी ऑडियंस दिस इज वॉट Uh, the conversation with Mr. Shyam Mani Glod was all about him giving us a lot of keywords. One mantra which I have picked up is "catch them young." That's our ultimate objective, which a lot of other distinguished members also have been telling us. He catch them young, niche se start karo and fir unko uh, global stage tak pachao. So uh, ultimately, I'd like to thank everyone who would be you know viewing this video. We at Un- Ideas Unlimited Sports Management Group, we are basically championing the Mission 2030 goal with a dream. of ensuring india makes it to the 48 team tournament that will be happening and uh, we have a lot more coming up a lot more in this interview series itself 
and apart from that a lot more coming up so be uh, be you know available in all our whatsapp groups in our social media channels in our ping tv channel where this will be uploaded and we'll be keeping you regularly updated and definitely involving you in any way possible uh, so thank you sir thank you so much and uh, yeah, for the audience yeah, last, last uh, one yes, one thing as yes. you mentioned the sports sciences because i have worked the 34 years in the sports authority of india we have a yes. very good a very good uh, sports sciences support is there but yes, sir. it is not properly utilized yes, if sir. the dedicated dedicated sports scientists should be the work together with the coaches then there is a not easy it is not possible bilkul, because bilkul, sports science is now is the extraordinary work is there there because fitness level if a player cannot 90 minutes cannot run properly we have the proper problem with this in fitness level also so if we properly build up from the beginning and utilize the sports scientists post physiologist post nutritionist everything should be work together sports psychologist too also because mental support is very very important a player must be the very good strong in the mental so proper psychological preparation is also requirement so Absolutely. all together if we if we try obviously we will achieve our goal thank you 100% sir you know we'll basically jitne bhi ab jaise main masters kiya sports science mein so basically jitne bhi subjects padhaye gaye the सब चीज कंट्रीब्यूट करेगा मिशन 2030 में एंड एक और चीज जो हम लोग प्रॉमिस कर सकते हैं कि वी विल रीच टू एवरी नुक एंड कॉर्नर ऑफ द कंट्री कन्याकुमारी से कश्मीर से लेके अरुणाचल से लेके गुजरात रन ऑफ कच तक वी विल इंश्योर दैट वी गेट वॉलंटियर्स फ्रॉम एवरी वन एवरी वन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट एंड करके दिखाएंगे जो भी होगा सो विद डैट थैंक यू एवरी वन फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन यस सर माई बेस्ट विजिट टू आइडियाज अनलिमिटेड स्पोर्ट्स मैनेजमेंट ग्रुप दिस बिग चैलेंज यू हैव टेकन आई होप If you spread this uh, throughout the India, people will be come out, and they, everybody started the initiatives, and everybody started the questioning the apex body. Why not we are doing? Why not we are able to do? So yes, make sure that I'm very much thankful once again that you invited me for this purpose. Thank you. Yes, sir. So uh, 2022 me uh, already. We have started, but 2023 is going to be the big year for us. We will do as much as we can, and पहुंचा के रहेंगे चाहे कुछ भी हो जाए सो विद दैट थैंक यू सर थैंक यू एवरीवन हु बी यू नो वाचिंग दिस वीडियो दिस इज शुभम जनरल फ्रॉम आइडियाज अनलिमिटेड स्पोर्ट्स मैनेजमेंट ग्रुप एंड लाइक सर सेड कैच देम हियर थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू